before we talk specifically about the concept of significant figures, I'm going to have us look at these two measure values, and this is the distance to the sun in miles. Uh, if we looked at a fourth grade science book, we might see the distance to the sun written as 93 million miles. If we went to a college level astronomy book, or actually I just googled this, uh, we can get a much more exact value for that. So this number is 92,955,820.5 miles. So this value tells us with certainty the distance to the sun down to the one-tenths place. Whereas this number tells us the distance to the sun with the certainty in the one millions place. So um, this would be an approximation. And it's less accurate. I generally like to talk about measured values in terms of how sensitive the measurement is. I don't like to use precise and exact, but this is a much more sensitive measurement. We know this with certainty down to the one tenths place. This one we're only providing an estimation and so the error in this number is in the one millionth place. If we write this number in scientific notation we will not include those zeros. We would simply write 9.3 times 10 to the something, and this is a big number, so we know the power is going to be positive, and we simply move the decimal over seven places, and so we write that as 9.3 times 10 to the seventh. And the two significant figures that this number has will show up when we write it in scientific notation. If we go back to this value here, 93 million, these zeros are not significant. And I am generally going to cross out zeros that are not significant. We don't want to write 93 down. If we were going to do a calculation with this number, we would still write down 93 million but we're going to be in the business of looking at any number and telling how many significant figures that number has. So this number has two significant figures. This number, all of these values, we know with certainty. So this number has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This value has nine significant figures. Would it be kind of silly to write this number in scientific notation? We would still move the decimal over seven places, and we would write 9.2955825 times 10 to the seventh. So it really wastes more paper uh, writing this number in scientific notation. The point is all nine values are significant because they tell us with certainty what the numerical value for each of the placeholders is. If we look up here the rules for stating how many significant figures are in any number, all we have to care about are the zeros. Zeros at the beginning of a number are never significant. That means no matter what, we're always going to cross out all the zeros at the beginning of a number. And the zeros at the end of a number are not significant, just like these, unless there's a decimal in the number. So that decimal automatically shows the reader that we know this measured value uh, more precisely. Okay. So if we go down the column, every number in this column has one significant figure, and I'm always going to underline the significant figures. As we go across the table, the numerical value is the same, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01. But 
how well we know the measurement increases as we go across. So this zero is significant because, basically because it's written. If we had this value instead, 0 0.015, both of those numbers would be significant. If we see a zero there, that means we know this value out to this uh, value of 10 precisely. Okay. So if I go down uh, here, this is the number 1000. There is no decimal in the number. That's why those zeros don't tell us anything. So this number is somewhere between 0 and 2000. In other words, we have kind of a large uh, error in that number. We don't need to know that. If we want to report the number 1,000 to four significant figures, we would actually place a zero at the end of that number. That looks really silly to have a whole number with a, z with a decimal place after it. But placing that decimal there automatically means that we know this number down to the ones place. So this value is somewhere between 999 and 1001. Again, we do not need to know this range of values. What we need to make sure we know is when do the zeros count? Or in other words, when are they significant? And when do we cross them out? And then we're going to look at any number and state how many significant figures it has.